Hey Fox, I guess you don't know me. My name is Shady Fox or mainly called Shady. And I guess you don't know me and I don't blame you for that because I have a relatively small channel. I'm an arena breakout mobile content creator. And obviously, you know, I'm also interested in the arena breakout infinite. And I saw recently while I was on vacation that there are many, many videos about pay to win for arena breakout infinite. And I'm actually wondering why the Arena Breakout mobile community didn't address this topic earlier. So I'm going to do that or I'm going to attempt to do that because, you know, I just want to share my opinion and maybe this video is going to reach some of the people. My biggest concern is that all of those guys who are publishing videos saying that this Arena Breakout Infinite is paid to win have never played the mobile version, so they don't really understand the details of the game. I guess most of the gamers are uh, from Tarkov or other shooter games. And yeah, it's just what it is. They are hopping to the uh, onto the pay to win train because that's a nice topic to address whenever a new game is being released. I'm I was actually surprised that um, I also saw a video from Asmongold who like, like, I, I, I like that guy. I mean, I respect his opinion. I respect everything he's doing, but I think like, uh, the way he's talking about this topic is like very high level. It's very generic and he doesn't really know like arena breakout. So I, I, I wasn't happy about this video because it puts arena breakout infinite into a very bad spotlight. Like it has been watched by 600,000 people. And there are more creators like him with um, a high sub count, like even Aroctic, um, but he's different. He, he's not saying that it's pay to win. I, I think he likes the game, but there was somebody else, um, this guy, I never saw him, but um, very clickbait title saying, is this the most predatory PC game ever? And I have to start with saying that I understand why, why they are saying that. I understand where they are coming from, because if you just purely take the facts, then you can say that I can buy myself stuff for real money in the game. And, and then instantly everybody's saying it's pay to win, it's pay to win. Oh my God, this is trash. It's predatory. Uh, it's just simply something you should avoid because you're going to steal all your money. And that's not the full story. So that's what I'm going to try to address. But basically, I already explained the accusation. The accusation is that you can buy stuff in the game for real money. And uh, let me show you the, the PC version. I have my... Um, I'm going to use my son's account because I didn't do the, um, you know, the first... Um, what is it? Tutorials. By the way, they said that we're going to keep the progress uh, of um, of the beta, but we didn't. So in the store, why people consider this as pay to win is because you can buy bonds, okay, for real money. And then you can spend the bonds on uh, buying yourself bundles. And by bundles, you can actually buy yourself money like actual coin, which you can send, uh, which you can spend on weapons, armor, and all kind of stuff. But here's the thing: I'm going to explain in very detail why I feel that this is actually not pay to win. It's <laughs> it's almost like you know pay to lose because if you cannot play the game, then this money or the armor itself, it's not going to help you in the game. Okay. So just let's let's first check the prices. So if you can buy for 2000 bonds or you can actually exchange the bonds to these gold coins. You can buy yourself um, two and a half million coin. You can do that, by the way, five times a week. So it's not like endless and um, it costs you 100 USD. And just as a reference, if you have two and a half million coin and if you want to fully dress up, like really fully dress up into T6, then let's see how much that actually costs, okay? Let's just check the alien helmet. 600,000, 
Guys, guys, in the mobile version, this helmet costs you approximately 150 or 200K. Here in the desktop version or PC version, 600,000, and that's only the helmet, okay? You're gonna need an armor, you're gonna need a backpack, weapon, scope, ammunition, all kind of stuff. So basically, <laughs> not, I'm not even mentioning the thermal. How much does the thermal cost, by the way? <laughs> Two million. Okay, so basically for approximately 25 USD, $25, real money, you can buy yourself almost like a high-end gear, which is going to be enough for one single game, okay? You're going to dress up, and then you go into the game, and if you lose it, then you lost everything. It's not like other games where you buy yourself equipment and the equipment is permanent. No, it's not. You're going to buy that helmet. And if you are a Timmy, if you are a noob, then you're going to run into the map and maybe you're going to get killed by a bot. Okay. You don't even need another chat. You don't even need other players because this armor and the weapon is not going to save your ass. I, 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 I can guarantee that. And even those players who have experience with Arena Breakout Mobile and now hopping over to Arena Breakout Infinite to try the game, they are also suffering because it's just hard. It's freaking hard, okay? It's not an easy game. So basically that's the accusation. That's what people say that you can buy yourself armor. Yes, but in order to do that, uh, you would need to spend like monthly 300 or $500 and you would be able to play like a couple of games for that price. Okay. So it's not, it's not worth it. It's absolutely not worth it. And I can already see, I, I, I have proof of that. So I can already show you that the good players, they will never ever spend a penny, nothing on, I mean, for buying coin in the game, because it just doesn't make sense. It's freaking expensive. And you can dress up a couple of times. And if you are not good at the game, you're going to lose it anyways. And I'm going to get back to that. Um, but let, let me show you something else. Let me show you something else. We have pretty much the same in the mobile version. So in the mobile version, you can also buy yourself bonds like this. You're going to see it in Hungarian foreigns, but it's pretty much the same. So for example, this 1580 bonds package it's costing 10,000 foreigns which is approximately $30 so it's pretty much the same price level and uh, for that 100 for that 1580 I can buy uh, what is it like one and a half million coin okay one and a half million coin and if I want to run uh, a game with a turmoil a thermal costs me 700,000 in the game, okay? So if I dress up into thermal, I'm kind of risking like more than a million. I'm not playing with a thermal, by the way. But uh, like a high-end gear is going to cost you at least 500,000 coin or even more. So if I would spend 10,000 foreigns, 30 USDs to dress up, I would basically have money to play three games okay three games with with high-end gear like and this is why people say it's it's pay to win and let me add the ten thousand foreigns in hungary it's it's like it's it's not cheap i mean <laughs> most of the adult people are earning like two hundred fifty thousand per month or three hundred thousand i know you know there are people who earn more like 500,000 1 million foreign and so on but still compared to the salaries like 10,000 foreign is not something you just throw out of the window okay and especially not like for buying yourself an entry card for three games so i just wanted to show you the mobile reference that it's pretty much the same and just to give you an insight just to show you the facts um i have at the moment 20 close to 20 million storage value and my extraction rate is approximately 30%, 35%. And uh, I'm not spending any real money in this game, okay? And none of the good players, nobody is going to spend real money to buy equipment. But here's the thing. Let's go back to the Arena Breakout Infinite because people are not just addressing like the... 
uh, the actual fact that you can buy coin for money. But they're also saying that, you know, you have the composite case and the elite pass and the battle pass. Well, yeah, I mean, come on, you have a battle pass in basically every single game, but it doesn't give you an unfair advantage. It doesn't give you like, you know, a magic stick, which, you know, allows you to see through the walls or instantly shoot enemies. So it's, it's not like that. I think it's absolutely worth buying the elite pass. It costs you 500 bonds per month. Okay. That's $5. And then the other one is the composite case. Let's jump back. Composite case, two by two, four grids, another 500 bonds. That's in total 1000 bonds per month. It's like $10. Okay. $10 per month. Tell me a game in the comment section where you don't have that like five to $10 monthly thing. It could be a battle pass. It could be something, but even these things, they don't guarantee pay to win. The bulletproof case serves to like save something in case you die. You are not going to get better in the game by having a composite case or bulletproof case. What you can do with it is that you find a red item and then you can put it into that bulletproof case, but it's only like four grids. It's like one item. Um, and the other one, the elite pass, where is that privileges elite pass? What it gives you, it's, it's giving you extra storage space, which is always good because, you know, there are some certain, you know, times where you don't sell anything and you need that storage. Um, also you can list a bit more on the market. I have never, ever reached the limit on mobile. I think it's 700, um, transactions per week. I have never reached that. Even if I try to sell like frequently or all the time I find something, I sell it. Even if I split, uh, my weapons into like selling the attachments one by one. So it's, it's a lot. You will never, ever hit the limit. And uh, market simultaneous uh, listing limit plus eight. That's very important because by default, you can only sell eight items, um, you know, at one time. And with this elite pass, you can go up to 16 items, which you can like offer to the market. I think it's absolutely like nice to have, but this is again, not mandatory. This is something that happens like outside of the game. Again, absolutely not a pay to win element and where is the battle pass I, I didn't even see the battle pass there must be a battle pass somewhere uh, i haven't seen the, the the live version i just played the beta but there should be a battle pass i guess or if it's if it's not here yet then um you know there, 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 there's gonna be one in the future but i can show you the uh, mobile version of the battle pass what it what it gives you is mainly like season points, some ammunition, some, some bundles, some free stuff, but it's not like, you know, that you're going to get rich by buying the battle pass and the battle pass applies for one whole season. Okay. So you can, you need to buy that or you don't need to buy that, but it applies for like three months and it's one off. And if you buy that, then most likely your money is going to return. I mean, all that stuff you can buy from it. It's just plenty. It's way more than what you actually need. If you look at my bundles, um, I still have, I still have a bunch of them. I'm not even using them. I'm not even using everything I can buy on a weekly basis from the season pass or, you know, I, I just have more than enough stuff and, um, uh, I'm at the highest level. I'm not a giga Chad. I'm not as good as many of the players out there, but I'm, I'm, I'm also legend. I'm not legend 50 stars. I'm not the best player in the game, but I'm not playing against Timmy's. I'm not playing against, uh, you know, those who just stepped into the game and they are, you know, ready to lose stuff. I'm playing against players who also have 200, 500, 1000 hours in the game. And still I can make profit without spending any money on the game. And the same is going to be true for arena breakout infinite. 
there is actually one video which I wanted to show you. Let me hop back. Um, where I stream was talking about the situation. This one here, the truth about Arena Breakout Infinite and Mobile. He's explaining, like, like watch this video after you finished mine. He's he's explaining that it's it's absolutely not worth spending real money to buy yourself equipment. Like he's phrasing it differently than I do, but still absolutely you know must watch. And I think also um Aroctic has a reaction video where he is watching Ice Stream's video and then basically reacting to it. And I think this guy, he was actually taking the time to understand this whole situation in more detail. And this is why he plays the game. He understands that this is actually not pay to win. People are just saying that because, you know, to get more views or, you know, to get some attention. But uh, again, I'm absolutely shocked that Asmongold was like, like without going into the details, saying that this is pay to win. There's one more thing I want to show you guys. Okay, I prepared you something. It's real footage. Um, I have plenty of these, but I just wanted to have like three of them just to showcase you something. What I mean by the armor doesn't save you. Okay, in this first clip, I'm going to play it. So what you just saw is that there was a guy, T6 alien helmet. You see that? You know, this is the helmet, which is going to cost you 600,000 in Arena Breakout Infinite. I was having an M110. I'm usually running with T4 ammunition. I never, ever use T5. And it took me two shots, two shots to take him down. He had a flashlight. He, you know, he could be considered as a Chad in Arena Breakout Mobile. And, 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 and that's it. He lost it. He had a gear which was worth more than a million. And going further, I actually didn't survive here. Look at how I died. Okay, I'm going to play the whole thing. This was the teammate. And from his point of view, this is how it looked like. It's, it's that easy to die in the game. And you can see, you can see one more time that this guy had a T T6 helmet. He had an MK14 and that weapon also costs a fortune. So it's this easy to die in the game. Okay. This is why I say it's not the armor or the weapon, which is going to save you. Here's another proof. In the Arena Breakout mobile community, we have a so-called leg meta or dum-dums. And this guy, I was spectating him uh, after I died on farm. And I'm going to play the clip and then talk about it. This is, this is a real good footage of showing the power of leg meta. He's playing a vector. He's running inside. He knew, by the way, that there are two enemies inside. And look at what he does. The guy, again, T6 helmet, T6 alien helmet, as you can see. He is not hitting him and then instantly attacking the legs. And basically, like, within no time, destroying this Chad. And this guy, this guy could be a player, <laughs> you know, who bought the gear for real money for $30 or such. I, I doubt that anybody would do that, but this is this is how easy you can destroy them. There you go, there you go. He had like literally two seconds or even less against a guy who was running a budget vector with dum-dums. And I'm sure, I don't remember his gear, but I, I think he had like T4 armor or something like that. It's that easy. And then it, it didn't actually stop here. And the reason why I kept this footage is because he was later attacking his teammate. I'm going to play it. <laughs> it was terribly bad, by the way, because he didn't check his magazine. And he's killing this T6 Chad, you know, with a shovel or the melee weapon. I'm not saying that this happens every single time, but to explain it, what's, what's happening here is that when he ran inside, he ran out of magazine or maybe his uh, gun jammed because it, it can actually happen. And then he runs out, switches to the melee weapon 
And because he's very close to the enemy, the enemy cannot actually shoot at him. Because if you are close to somebody, then you cannot hold your weapon like this. You know, it's going to turn sideways or, you know, to the side. And basically, the enemy couldn't kill him or couldn't run away because he was blocked by the door. And again, with a melee weapon, he destroyed the guy, <laughs> T6. Maybe this is the same T6 helmet because maybe he picked it up from, uh, from the teammate. But again, this guy has approximately 1 million worth of equipment, which would be even more in Arena Breakout Infinite because everything is uh, uh, like more expensive over there. So this is like a 2.5 million gear in Arena Breakout Infinite. And then um, there's one more. This is my gameplay. I actually um, published this as a short, but what we've been doing here is that we had three players inside. I was playing with my son and there was a coordinated attack. Like we knew that there are players near to the main guest room. So when they were rushing, you can see I try my luck. He was saying that, you know, he's going to push. And then when I heard that they are pushing, this happened. We also killed the third guy, he was running inside and then my son naded him. But that's not the thing I want to show you. What I want to show you is that, look how much, you know, ammunition I had to use to kill this guy. Well, one, I think I hit him like twice or something like that. The next guy, one, two, three, maybe three bullets, you know, from behind. And then the third one, I just didn't kill him. He also had T5 helmet, by the way. The reason I didn't kill him is because I ran out of ammunition because I wasn't running uh, with a 60 round mag with my M4. I would have killed that guy as well, again, T5. So don't tell me, don't ever tell me that armor and weapon will give you an unfair advantage in the game. I'm not saying, you know, it, I'm not saying it doesn't matter because it does especially if you are running thermos with high-end weapons, of course you're going to have an advantage. But how much, how much are you willing to spend for that? Are you willing to spend like $50 for every single game you play? And, and, and what if you, I mean, what if you die like five times? You spend 250 bucks and then you're going to say, no worries, I'm going to recharge. I'm going to take my wallet and then pump up my balance again. This is what we consider pay to win. This is why we consider Arena Breakout Infinite as pay to win. Even if you attempt to do that, you're going to stop doing that after losing like five times. And not to mention that Arena Breakout, um, the, the Infinite version, is even more ruthless because bots are are more difficult to fight. Uh, you don't have the sound prints, so it's even more scary. You can basically get attacked anytime, uh, anywhere. I act from the beta, I don't have the footage yet, but from the beta, um, my experience was that I found a terminal, a terminal site, and I equipped that, and I died without actually seeing the enemy. Somebody just shot me in the back. Okay? It's that easy. It's that freaking easy. So don't tell me that pay to win is going to make. Um, don't tell me that armor that. One more time. Don't tell me that the armor you can buy for real money is making this game pay to win because it's not. Um, good proof would be if you guys take the time and watch. Arena Breakout Infinite said he's one of the best players on mobile and he had a video um, where he was playing which was that I made 3, maybe this one, I made 3.3 .3 million my first forbidden armory raid. Yeah, I think I watched this and uh, if this is the one where he's playing with Monarch then it's absolutely something worth checking out. Because Wrong. he's all uh, yeah, in this game, he's is wiping the whole lobby. But look at how he's playing. Look at the game sense. Look at look at look at like how cautious he is. And you're gonna understand why this guy doesn't need to spend money in the game. Actually, nobody does need to spend money because if you are good at the game, 
then you have one equipment, one good armor, one good weapon, and that equipment, that loadout is going to start generating you money. And if that's the case, then why would you want to spend money in the game? Like if you are good at the game and if you are having success, then why on earth would you want to spend money to buy yourself armor, additional armor and additional um, weapons? Yeah, this is the game where he's playing with Monarch. Absolutely worth watching. Absolutely worth watching. This is good proof that these guys, these guys are good in Arena Breakout Mobile. They practiced a bit in the PC version as well. And 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 that that's all you need. That's the recipe. It's not actually real money. It's skill. It's game awareness. You need to learn the maps. You need to learn the weapons. You need to learn the game. And then you're gonna be successful. And again, like if I have a storage value of 20 million in Arena Breakout Infinite, why would I want to spend real money on buying myself better equipment or ammunition? And if it's the other way around, if my storage value is zero, and if I buy myself equipment, the loadout, and then I go into the game and then I lose everything for real money, then again, why would I want to pump up my my, my storage value or my balance, coin balance again to buy myself yet again another loadout, start yet again another game and then lose it again. What, what's the point of it? What, how, how does it make, I mean, how does this make it pay to win? If I'm not good at the game, then it doesn't matter. Okay. And if you're good at the game, then you're just simply good at the game and you don't need to buy stuff. So please, guys, please explain me in the comments why you consider this game as pay to win. Okay, I'm really curious. The only thing you can come up with, the only thing that I can... <laughs> no, not even that. I wanted to mention the thermos, but not even that. If you have the money to buy yourself thermos and then keep losing them, then go on. Do you think it's that easy to play with thermos? Do you think it's just, you know, throwing a smoke and then everybody is going to run and then you're just going to shoot them like they were flies or something? It's not, it's not going to work. Just, just give it a try. And you're going to realize that this game is purely about skill, game awareness, and not about your armor. Okay. Um, I hope it helped to, even if I didn't succeed to like change your mind on this, I hope it like was kind of an eye opener or maybe you know you're gonna you're gonna think about it I, I i'm actually i actually don't care i just wanted to share my opinion because nobody else did from the arena breakout mobile community um that's it have a nice day and uh, shoot loot subscribe see you in the next one shady out bye